Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Meat. All up in there. I slept pretty good last night, but uh, the sun's out, it seems like it's going to be a warm day again, so it's time to get up and get moving to fishing and stuff, so let's do it, Monty, let's do it, my little fluffy teddy bear with a heartbeat. I'm sorry, I didn't mean <laughs> I accidentally punched him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Monty. I bopped him. I'm sorry, Monty. You ran into my fist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did it make you sneeze? Come here. I'm sorry. I did not mean that. Oh. <laughs> 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 Nice day out. Nice day for a for a thing. Thank you, Monty. You're psycho. We got some fishing to do today, okay? We got. There ain't no time for this. There ain't no time for this. Alright. Time to pack up, cue the coffee, cue the oatmeal, and our loon friend's back. Oh, there he goes.
Soupy. The Monty is a peculiar creature. He hides in the grass to wait the next treat. As soon as someone brings one out, he will come out of the shade and the grass and beg for it. Baby tree frog. Hello, little guy. Let's see if Monty likes you. Monty likes a tree frog. He's our friend. You don't like him? <laughs> you don't like him, huh? No? <laughs> What's wrong with him? Does he stink? No. Well, let's let him free. Monty. Monty. Oh, watch out, my little beetle, Monty. Watch out. My oatmeal and the coffee. Oh. My bad. It's a coffee as soon as it touches my lips. It's 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 the weather. It's it's the oats. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a warm sunny day. Uh, hopefully the sun doesn't feel so far it doesn't feel as hot as it did already. It's definitely not burning me like it was. So, I'm pretty much all packed up. Um, just gonna finish up my breakfast. Uh, let's get on that water, get to paddling, portaging, and fishing. Right, Monty? We're gonna catch fish dinner today, buddy. Yeah. That uh, tree frog, when he smelled it, it reminded me of when he tried escargot for the first time. seem to like that. Escargot and tree frogs must have something in common. Come on. Come here. Come on, Roden. Let's go. Come on, T. Let's go. Let it go, you may stink you. Press the ball. Okay. Do one quick thing before we can move any further. Ah, there we go. Hokey dokey. Oh, he's already settled down. He's squeaking right away. Instant squeakage. Okay, to do before we do any fishing, we're gonna we're gonna wait till we find a good spot with some downed trees and a nice drop off. Oh look, there's one right here. Imagine that. All right, so like I said, we are looking for a 
Walter dinner party tonight. So that means any bobbies are going to get let go for now until we later have fish release regret and get desperate and then we will take bobbies. Now, there's nothing wrong with bass. I love a good bass meal. Um, it's just my walleye are more of my favorites, one of my favorites. And since they're biting around this time of year, I think we can catch some today. So we're going to hold off for a little while. But, uh, oh, something was just going for that. Something. Anyways. Um, yeah. I'm at, a, I'm, I'm at about a 50-50 thinking we're going to actually catch some walleye for dinner tonight. But we'll see. I mean, there's always the night fish, which is the best part. But I'll already have been desperate by then and probably keep bath. So it's hard to say where we're at. We're all over the place. I'm, you know, I'm always changing my mind constantly, and that's okay. I'm allowed to do that. But yeah, we're not gonna fish too crazy right now. It's like the middle of the day. Um, sun's out. Walleye are gonna be. They're gonna be if they're if they're gonna bite. They're gonna be deep, or they're gonna be underneath trees and around trees and stuff in the shade. They're not gonna be sitting in shallow water in the sunlight. That's just not gonna happen. Um, so we also there's moving water we're making our way to today So I think they'll definitely be there Then it doesn't really matter what time of day it is if it's like rushing water So We'll take a few casts here and there and we'll work our way towards that moving water Because that's where I think we got the best chance of mr. Walter showing up Buddy, Why are you so squeaky? Why are you squeaking? Huh? What's it? What's the deal with the squeaking? Maybe they were all pulled up at that one spot yesterday. I mean, there was tons of them at that one spot yesterday where we were catching some underwater footage. Oh, I got snagged on a tree, but I got it. Oh, well, that's a snag. I just saw an absolute monster of a bass. I just lost my line getting snagged near this tree, but... There's an absolute monster. I'm going to put on a big old leech and just barely hook him so it just does one of these. And sometimes they just can't resist. Let's try it out. All right, come on, Bobby. He's somewhere right around there. He was a big guy, so he might be too smart to uh, go for this now that I've already gone over there. But there's a chance. He was a big guy. Where was he? I can't remember exactly. That was a big fish. Oh. Is that a bite? I need to put it right in his face and let it drop right on him. Oh, we just had a bite. There he is. Oh no. Oh, we had him. My drag was set too loose. Oh. Dang it. I had my drag set too loose because I just had to deal with that snag. I doubt he's going to bite again. Got him too. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts the soul. That sucks. Uh, oh, it was too loose, and I meant to set the hook. You saw it, it just went. Whee! I saw. 
saw him. It was the big one too. Dang it. All right, we're gonna give him. We're gonna give him like five, ten minutes to reset. We're gonna go cast somewhere else, and we're gonna come back and see if see if maybe we can get him to bite again. Well, he's gonna need a reset time. All right, we gave him fifteen minutes. Let's see. Ooh, that's kind of right where he's by. Let it be enough time. <sighs> he might not be right there. Or he might be wise since we messed up. Let's try right there. Come on, buddy. I'm not gonna eat you. I just wanna say hello. See if we can at least see him again. We'll try to get an underwater shot of him if we can see him. He's right around here somewhere. I can't believe I messed it up because I didn't have my drag set. Dang it. Oh well. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I didn't wait 15 minutes to give up this easily. see him again so I can put it right in front of his face. They have such a hard time resisting if it's just wiggling in front of their face, just the leech just like swimming. I just want the chance. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna look for him. Doesn't seem like he's biting anymore. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. <laughs> that might be the one of the biggest large mouths I've ever caught. Oh my gosh, or small mouths. Holy crap. Look at this pig. Oh, that's a big fish right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. I know, Monty. All right, sit down, Monty. You're gonna make me flip the boat. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. That is a mammoth. 
That's a huge smallmouth bass. I need to get a measurement. I don't have a measuring tape, I don't think, but we're gonna take a piece of string and we're definitely going to uh, quickly get a measurement. But we're gonna keep them in the net, swimming in the water, because we don't wanna we don't wanna harm him in, a, in any way, because that's a big fish. We want him to breed, live to fight another day, and become a monster that we can catch another time. So let's let's get some measurements on this guy. That is a big bass oh my gosh i can't believe we got him i'm so glad i kept trying i was like i, I don't know okay let's measure this is gonna be tough this is i think this is the biggest smallmouth i've ever caught but this is gonna be tough to measure and keep it accurate okay right there okay i'm gonna make a pinch right here Okay, this is where we need to make a knot, right at this pinch. So we're gonna measure, all right, gotta keep it pinched right there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make it tight right to this pinch mark here. And then we're gonna double check and see how big that is. All right, so let's, let's do it again. We'll get it on camera just so you don't think I'm cheating. So, there's where the knot is. Oh, it's it's a little long. Dang it! We got to redo it. I can't I can't cheat. And now we're selling ourselves short. Now we're just going to make it one final adjustment, and that's that's the official length. That should be good. Right at the base. Okay, see? Alright. You can see it's... See how it's the top part of the tail where the, the thumb side of my tail is about the exact same? That's pretty darn accurate. It's about as accurate as I'm going to get out here. Let's let this guy go. I need a picture with him quick. I mean, you can't grasp the size of it. Now look at it, that. It's so big. It's huge. It's a massive bass. All right, we're going to let this guy go now. That's awesome. We caught him right here next to this big old tree. We let him go like right there just so he was near his spot. spot. That's so awesome. I can't believe we caught that guy. I thought it was, when, when I messed up the drag, I thought it was over, but that was definitely the exact same fish because it was, I could just see him in the water. He's huge. Uh, I don't catch many monsters. That guy might not be the longest, crazy long, but he was a big, fat, th like he was this size, like up and down. Like I should have measured that too. I, I, I need to have a little measuring device, a little scale, because that guy was definitely a personal best smallmouth. It had to be. There's, I don't, yeah, I have not caught one that big. He was maybe only 22, 23 inches, which is still huge. He might have only been 21, but still he was thick, and he was just, he was this way was the, the real length. I don't know if the camera picks up how big he was, but that was a big bass. That was a thick bass. Double C's. Bass. That was awesome. <laughs> I feel so victorious after that. Even if we don't catch another fish the entire day, I'll be happy. And also another thing I want to point out is fish like that big, I'm not going to eat no 22 inch bass. Like, um, not only do I prefer the taste of like smaller fish and they're, you know, they, they're live less, I would rather keep the monsters for like reproducing like that that fish i would love to just let keep producing become a big trophy monster and just keep on going as big as he can get and then you know i have the chance to catch him again i like to eat the smaller fish i prefer smaller fish because uh yeah when uh a lot of the times too in lakes is when you have tons and tons of fish uh you want to take out some of the smaller fish to let the bigger fish because they need more food because if you have two, I've had, I've seen lakes where there's just too many, uh, 
too many bass or something, then they're all stunted because none of them have food. There's got to be a fish here too. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to take a cast quick. I, I was just gonna move on to the next lake, but there's down trees, and if there's down trees, there's fish, and if there's fish, you'll fart and catch them. That's another trick I've learned with these leeches is um, when you see a big fish like that and you want to entice them, you only do the single hook so that the leech kind of hangs off and it does this wavy thing. If you double hook them, like I like to do if I'm casting a lot or moving water, um, they kind of, they'll ball up sometimes and sometimes they won't really, they'll, if they're a big leech, they'll just curl around themselves and then you can't, they're just not... They just don't present themselves well. So when I see a fish and I, I know I can just take the time and I just don't have to, to whip it so I lose the leech, I'll, uh, like I said, just single hook them and then they just kind of, they keep swimming. I cannot stop farting. Like it's it's been an issue this trip. It must be the spaghetti. It is some of the most delicious spaghetti I've made so, so far. I put, uh, I did everything in a food processor, so all the onions and mushrooms and everything were super fine, and it just made like the most rich tasting sauce. And it was super saucy and delicious. And it's giving me bad gas. Bad gas. Bad gas. I feel like for these walleye, I need to go deeper, but. I feel like I'm just going to fish for bass for a while until we get to moving water. Because the main thing is to have fun. And if I can catch a big old bass like that, uh, I'm having a blast. I'm having a bass blast. A bass blaster. Monty, you're the bass blaster. Okay. Ooh, this is a, just such a good spot right here. How is there not fish we just saw a bass we got to try to get him we got to try I missed uh, I missed that one biting it because I had given up I tried and he, he didn't seem to care so I had given up and I was just like not paying attention so like when I have my wa my camera in the water like that oh there's another one dang it yeah anyways I have my camera in the water and I have it aimed like and I have to like tilt my boat to aim it right it's kind of tricky but uh, 
We'll try again. Is it another one? Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try to get another one. Another big old pig. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. This guy's strong. Holy crap. Oh, look at that big old pig. <laughs> I was just about to say every single time I get one of these fish to bite with the right angle where you can see it underwater biting the thing, it gets off every single time. I don't know if I captured it that time either. It's like Every time they they get hooked and stay on, but I mess the angle up. All right, let's let this guy go, and then we need to take Monty swimming. All right, I get it, I get it. You want to go back? You're gonna go back. Oh. 
Only time will tell if I got uh, any of that on camera. That last one was a pretty nice bass. That was almost as big. There's a lot of huge bass here. Uh, this is awesome. And I would keep fishing it, but Monty is panting. Oh, there's just... See, I can see where the fishies be. That's just... Okay, Monty, I'm sorry. Well, we're gonna, it's, it's getting cloudy now. I know he's gonna gripe at me for getting in the water, but he's gonna want it. Or he might just jump in on his own. Who knows? I don't know how many fish I just caught, but I was definitely focusing. I could have caught so many fish there. I was just focusing on really trying to record one underwater and capture it. That was my main goal right there. And I had to have gotten at least one. I know I got a bunch of bites perfectly on camera because the camera was aiming and I was just like, yes, it's happening. And then they would just shake it. I think I was uh, getting a little too excited and not, not letting him, I would let him bite it, but not uh, take it for a minute before I set the hook. Oh well. Out of all the lakes so far this trip, this one has had the most wonderful structure for fishing. Just everything is down trees. And as you can see, the water's right up to the rocks. It's definitely been my favorite structured lake so far. Um, we'll probably be coming back here a few times in our lives. That's for sure. I know Captain Teeny Trout's gonna wanna come back here. He loves bass fishing, catching big old bass. We'll, uh, we'll definitely plan a trip coming back here with him this season. Um, probably next spring too because he just loves catching big fish so he focuses more on the fishing so this is definitely be his style and we'll still out fish him either way it doesn't matter I mean whatever fish he catches we're gonna catch a bigger one but still we'll bring him here we'll let him try <laughs> Go get it, Monty. Don't you bark. Get the stick. Your little beaver. Your little water critter. I bet that feels nice. Oh, the sun is doing that. It's getting hot again. I need sunscreen. Good boy, Monty. You wet rodent. Speak of the devil, as soon as I'm about to put on sunscreen, the clouds come out. Perfect. I enjoy the cloud cover. That'll be good for walleye as well. So I think we're gonna scoot through this next lake. I might drop a line to troll, but it's it's not the most deep. There's little like islands we gotta go through, so I won't have a lot of time. I'll probably drop them. We'll just we'll do the chartreuse slayer. We'll just have it right behind the boat. But anyways, I'm happy about the cloud coverage. That's good. We could get some rain later, but for now, if we can get We've got, let's see, two miles till we got to, two, three miles till we go to moving water. That's pretty much where we're gonna move to till we do some more hardcore fishing. And then we'll try really well wherever there's moving water. But we've got seven and a half hours of light left, so plenty of time to catch some fish. Plenty, we got the entire day. And if we just catch more bass, that's fine. I don't mind bass. And I will eat bass if it gets past like five. And we still got any fish. We'll eat some bass. But we ain't gonna eat no big pregnant bass. We want nice slim uh, bass that are just, you know, prime for the taking. We don't want them old old bass, those big bass. Good 
day to you. Have a nice day. Catch lots of fishes for me. See you guys. See you loons. Okay, it's kind of cooled off and uh, it's cloudy out now. So I feel like the, the walleye I'll bite, we're near the portage. The rushing water's down here but there's some nice drop-offs and some down trees. I just want to try along this before we move on. Um, what? I think I just snagged a tree? Oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say that was a big fish. I snagged a branch. Oh yeah, we're gonna try like seven feet down. Oh, dang it, I lost my leech. Dang nabbit. Didn't get any bites, so we're gonna go old fashioned chartreuse slayer until we get down towards the moving water. Looks like there's two spots with moving water. Um, depends how deep it is near the moving water. If, it, if it's like super shallow, it's not as good, but if it's, uh, fairly deep and you can't really see then that's really good that's what you want it's got like if it's like five to ten foot deep right near where the water's pushing in that's perfect there will definitely be fish there Oh my god, we've got a smorgasbord of tree stump sticking out right here. Look at this. There's got to be a walleye right here. There just has to be. There's got to be something right here. Maybe a body? I don't know. There's no way there's not, not a fish right here. But the wind is not cooperating with me right now. I do not appreciate it. Okay, it's looking like it's just a little bit too shallow near this moving water so we're just going to portage on to the next spot and I know it it gets to a channel where it opens up into a bigger lake so I think we'll have better luck there than we will right here it is just too dang shallow it's like not even a foot of water and I'm not seeing any fish so let us move on with the day no fishies other than the pita and the bunches of bobbies bunches of bobbies Alright, we just took a snack break. Uh, got my boots and my pants back on because it was a little chilly there for a minute. Um, so now we've got one more. Well, we've got where the water is rushing. That's what we're going to try right now. We've got five and a half hours of light left, so we've got plenty of time to secure some fish for dinner. Um, maybe we'll try a few casts. Getting bit up. We'll try a few casts right here. There's some nice rocks. 
yeah we'll give we'll give a few casts along the way and then uh yeah what we'll do is we're going to look for a campsite that's got potential to let the lured uh, leech on a slip bobber just sit out from camp like we did the other night and uh We'll give that a shot if we don't have any luck. Well, well, we'll do that either way. Even if we have enough fish for dinner, we're still going to... I want to find a campsite where I can fish from camp. Because that was pretty convenient. I'll be honest. I liked it a lot. And I would like to do it again. There's just some rocks here. I know why I like sitting in the rocks. Where you can just see the rocks barely underwater. And there's like some... Yeah. Nice cover from the sun and whatnot. And whatnot. But we'll, we'll only take a few casts along the way because I want to get to that water. That's where I want to dedicate some time. That moving water. That's what I like to see. The water moving. Uh oh, it is starting to rain. Rot row. Whatever will we do? I think we will ignore it for now. I would like it to catch the fish. Oh, triple turtle rock. We gotta go for these triple turtle. Oh, they're not gonna let us get close, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Turtles. I can see where the water comes through to the next lake. It looks like the, I can't tell if the water level is just really high. It might not even be pushing through that crazy. Or if it's low. Can't really see if it's rushing through or not. We're gonna cast along the down trees along the way just in case anything's lurking. Any lurking wallies. It's not rushing as fast as I'd like, but it could still be. They could still be in here. There will at least be bass around here. But we want them walleye. First pass. Uh oh. Might be set too deep. The slip's not even... Dang it. Do your job. There it goes. Ooh. We're getting hung up on rocks. Or fish. 
fish. We got a fish. Well, this feels like a bass. There's no way this is a walleye. It's got too much heft and too much fight. Oh yeah, I can see it. Ooh, that's a big old bass. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, that's a porky. Porky piglet. Come to Papa. Come to Daddy. Who is your Daddy and what does he do? He goes fishing for you. Oh, jeez. Okay, piggy, piggy. All right. There we go, big old piggy. I'm fairly confident we can keep catching bass all day, so we're just gonna let this guy go. All right. Catch right in this moving water here. Let it just drag. See, this, the slip bobber kind of helps it drag along the bottom, which is what you want. You want it to drag along the bottom without getting snagged. Oh, there's a fish. Feels like another bass. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a nice hefty bass. <laughs> Ooh, this one feels even chunkier than the last one. Oh, no, maybe not. Go. I'll let you go. You just chill. I'm just gonna chill. See how easy it is? ABC one two three. I'll let you go free. It might just be a little too shallow right now for walleye. Unfortunately. We're going to keep trying for a bit, though. Let's keep doing the same thing. Oh, there's another one. It's like another bass. This is definitely another bass. <laughs> There's so many bass right here. Ooh, he's feisty. Ooh, this one's pretty big. Oh, that's a big chunky piggy. Got this chunker. Whoa, that's a big fat bass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a piglet. Jeez. That is a piggy. Oh my gosh. Simmer down. This might be as big as the other one. Look at this chunky thing. Oh, that's a big old bass. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a big porky piglet. Oh yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> Boom. All right, let's let him go.
dang it. I don't like when the slip bobber doesn't slip. It keeps getting caught. Come on, Walter. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that might have been a walleye. Ooh. Oh, no, that's a bass. Another, another bobby. Dang it. Oh, you know what? This one might be good eating. Nice full eggs. Nope, we're letting them go. I mean, I'm all about catching fish, but we want fish dinner, walleye dinner. So we need to keep trying. We're, we're definitely gonna probably catch more bass. But I mean, what are you gonna do? Oh, there's a bite. That's another bass. You can tell right away because when you pull, it's like a big old piglet, big old fatty. You can just tell immediately that you got a nice chunky bass. Another nice bass. That feels like, is that a bass? Yep, it's a smaller bass. Actually, that's a good little eater. That's a little small, ooh. Ah, that one's a little small. I like them in between this size and the bigger size. He's a little, little too small. A little too small. I mean, I would definitely eat those, but I'd need like four of those guys.
All right, Mon Stinky. Mon Stinky deserves to be able to be his own his own man out on the land. All right. Oh, it's another booby. Another booby bass. Another booby. Another booby. What are these bugs? Oh, that's a little one. Little booby. Another nice fish. Come on, just be a big old walleye. Oh no, you're a bass. I seen ya. I seen ya. Come here, booby. Booby boss. Oh, that's a pretty good eater size. Take a peek at you. Oh! You know what? We're, we're going to risk it. We're going for walleye. Monty. Monty, what do you think of all the fishing I'm doing? You ready to go? Ready to go look for a campsite, buddy? Maybe find Walter? You're such a good boy. Mmm. All right, let's go. Come on. There's like a comfy spot, but we gotta go. All right, let's go. Start the rain, Monty. Ready, my little adventure pup?
Quincy, you did it. You did it. You braved the rapids. Uh oh, it's looking like it's actually gonna rain rain. I'm gonna need to put on my rain pants. Uh oh, Monty. Well, Mon our Monty's protected, but I'm not yet. All right, I need the rain pants, Monty. Or I'm gonna get wet pants. I'm gonna get wetness in my naughty bits. Oh, what the heck, Monty? As soon as I get my my rain gear on, sun comes out, but it's still raining. I mean, what does this mean? Where's the rainbow? I don't see it. Well, that was short-lived so far. Oh, you don't need this anymore, Manti. There you go. And I'll keep mine on for as long as I can handle. Until it gets too warm because of the sun. And then I'll strip her off. But we need to get to trolling. How deep do we got here? Oh, it says it's only 10 feet deep here. For a ways. Well, that's that's not what we want. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna set up the eerie deerie, regardless of how deep it is. It gets to troll, and we need a walleye. It's the only way. We got the eerie deerie with a leech. So we're gonna try trolling this. And uh, there's a couple of campsites that look like they're in a nice spot where, where there's like a drop off. And uh, that looks like a good spot. Last night, I didn't like our campsite for uh, catching walleyes. It just wasn't that good of a setup. But uh, we'll we'll check out a few of these. Whatever seems like the seems like it's the best for catching walleyes. The rest of the day, we'll uh, definitely set up at. There's two that I'm looking at. There's three, four, five, six. Seven. We'll just pick the nicest one. We've got four four and a half hours of light left, so we're gonna we're gonna take our time trolling, picking a good one. It got hot quick, real quick. Who? Okay, this is actually the first one we came across, but it's it's like a nice island right here, and then it's got this channel, and it goes it drops right off. It drops right off right here on this point and this seems just like a perfect spot to set up i'll throw the right out here and they'll probably come creeping down yeah so and it's got a beautiful spot for uh 
fire. It's gonna have a gorgeous view tonight, so hopefully we can find some. So we'll get some firewood. We've got four hours. Like I said, we just, this is the first one we checked out. But it's a beautiful little spot. Uh, so we're gonna get a line out there, get set up. We're gonna let this hot sun settle a bit while we wait. We'll see if we can catch one right from camp. And uh, yeah, I think this spot's got high hopes. I've got my hopes up. I just hope the sun goes away. If it gets cloudy again, it looks like it's about to just be sunny the rest of the day. Looks like the clouds have passed, unfortunately. But there's still hope. I still think we can get a Walter dinner. I was just casting the Eerie Deary right from camp. And something bit it. Oh, it's a pike. Dang. I figured what the heck I got this leash on here. Oops. I was hoping that was a walleye. It definitely wasn't a bass. I was like, oh, it might be a walleye. Nope. All right. Let's, uh, and the wind's perfect too. It's gonna push out my slip bobber. So I don't have to keep dinking around with it. I cannot stop for it. I think I gotta poop again. I have pooped so many times this trip. Wouldn't have been a complete trip without a little bit of skinny dipping. Who is nippy? Hi, Monty. Hi. Look at that butt. Oh. Oh, I just need to let my body get a little numb. <laughs> oh, hey, Monty. How's it going, buddy? You little beaver? You little beaver retriever? Oh, it is gorgeous out here. Oh, yeah, Monty. Hi. Hi, my Dory. I'm going to wash my underwear after, okay? Don't you worry about it. I know you said I forgot. <sighs> oh. It's going to feel so good once I get out of this water because the sun's so hot right now. I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what, before I set up, I need to swim a little bit. We can't just not on this beautiful day. We've only got two nights left. Oh. This might mess up the fishing for a little bit, but that's okay. air myself out. Hey, what are you doing? Get out, get away from me. Do you ever go fishing completely naked before? Notice that there's all sorts of nice big old crawfish right here on these rocks and uh, I mean look at the size of that guy if I can get like five to ten of these we'll have a nice little, little ooh, that's a big one Let's see 
you gotta let them get it and then oh you gotta let them like grab on and then you gotta pull them out oh he's not grabbing that's a big one. Oh, he doesn't want it anymore ah oh, dang it I can't get him No, no, no. All right, we have uh, caught about eight of those crawfish. Uh, yeah, not all of them are as big as that one, but there's so many crawfish. If you're worried that like, oh, those are too small, well, they don't get as big as they do down south. Um, that big one that I got, that I've I rarely see them that big. Um, and there's so many crawfish in here. I mean, you see, uh, I mean, all over the rocks everywhere. There's little craw crawfish uh, claws because everything's eating them so we have enough to have a little nice tasty little crawfish boil tonight or maybe I should just take the tails out raw and simmer them up in butter in Montreal <sighs> oh the possibilities are endless anywho uh, we've definitely killed a couple hours Monty is all clean he's he's still wet but he got one round of towel drying, we'll give him another round, and then we're going to have to brush him tonight, otherwise he ain't going to, he ain't going to dry out. So I'm just going to get camp set up, we'll filter some water, uh, we're pretty much waiting for the sun to just, if it stays like it is, ju it just got to right now, it was, it's been hot sun until right in this moment where it got covered by a cloud, but if it gets cloudy again, or as we get around like an hour to an hour and a half before the sun sets, 
then we're gonna head out fishing. Uh, we haven't had anything bite right out in front of camp. We caught that one pike, and I saw a bass go by, and I saw another bass chase after when I was resetting it, but I'm good on bass right now. I'm pretty sure when we go out tonight, if I really try, we can get some bass, which is probably what we'll do if I don't have anything come by near camp here before then. We'll probably go for some bass, because the, they're just, they're all over right now. With those leeches, it's it's not even fair. It's not even fair with the, with the leeches on a slip bobber. I wish I could find the walleye, uh, like I did on that one lake, but We'll see. There's still time. There's still hope. There's still time. But we'll just default to a bobby dinner with the crawfish. Some mashed potatoes. Ooh, that's going to be good. It's going to be good. And if it doesn't happen tonight, we still got tomorrow. We've got tonight and tomorrow left in the trip. It just went by so fast. So anyways, I'm going to get set up here and then uh, we'll see where we're at. Hopefully we got a fish by then or something from camp. That'd be nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You stinky floppy doggy. The sun's high in the sky. We haven't had any bites from camp. Uh, we've got an hour and a half of sunlight left. We still gotta gather firewood if we do want to have a fire. So we gotta go somewhere and uh, go in from shore. I brought the saw with me to cut some up, bring it back to camp. We need some. Um, so that if we want to fire, we got to do that. But we're going to first focus on catching a fish. If I don't get a firewood, whatever. I've got my stove. I can cook up a, cook up a meal with my stove. That's okay. The priority is fish right now. If I see a nice piece of wood, you know, that I can go in and grab, I'll do it quick. But uh, we're going to set up the Eerie Deary with the leech with the Chartreuse Slayer. I tried that new Chartreuse Slayer and it got tangled up because it wasn't the right... It just swam a little deeper or something. So we're going to work our way up to a channel and uh, we're just going to troll for a while because while the sun's high in the sky, I just don't like sitting around casting a leech on a slip bobber. I'd rather troll and cover some ground because they might be moving. They might be deep. I don't really know right now, but that's what we're going to try is trolling 
kind of right off along drop offs and stuff. So I'm gonna get this all this big tangled mess ready to happen set up, and then let's do some trolling. I literally just got the whole contraption set up and and started setting it down, and something just hit it immediately. I don't know which one he's on. Oh, it's a pike on the chartreuse slayer, and he's got it in his mouth. No. Dangerous game. I don't want to lose my chartreuse slayer. I've only got two. Oh, we're going to have to retie that one. Oh, that was a dangerous game. Well, at least we got the lure still. That makes me nervous when you can't see your lure <laughs> and you got a pike on. Okay, all right, we're gonna get this guy free here. I ain't eating no pike. It ain't happening. So, say what you will about it. I ain't doing it. Monty's groaning. It's wrapped around his mouth. He's gonna thrash and he's gonna make a big old mess. It's the worst when they when pike have these little uh, along their mouths. They're almost free. Okay, letting them go. Alright, see you, Mr. Pike. I think we're gonna have to do a fish counter for this trip. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever caught this many fish on a uh, week-long adventure before. I've done very well. So let's, let's, let's have a little fish counter up on the screen. It'll probably have started before this point, but uh, we'll have it going. We'll have it going the whole time. We got to do it. So we're slowly just going to reset this line. But I, as I when I do this, I want to make sure to do a quick uh, swim check so that I know that it's swimming fine and not just tangled. Because if it tangles up, then there's no point of even trolling. I'm not going to catch anything. So let's just get it going for a minute here and then we'll just it looks like it's swimming fine i don't got it out very far In worst case scenario tonight, we're gonna have a little smorgasbord. We're gonna have a little half portion of spaghetti with some mashed potatoes. And on top of that, we're gonna have some butter simmered Montreal simmered uh, little mini lobsters, AKA crawfish tails. It's gonna be good. It would be nice with the walleye, don't get me wrong, but still. If, uh, if we don't have fish dinner tonight, that's okay. I, I'm not, I'm, I won't be upset. I will still have a, uh, <laughs> a very good feast tonight. Monty will get a couple tails too, because he's such a good boy. But uh, the, I mean, I'm not I'm not giving up yet either. We've still got an hour. Uh, we'll still fish from camp as we're setting up and stuff. We'll probably we should probably I should probably gather firewood now before it gets to night fish time. Mm. But I don't want to stop fishing. That's the problem. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Four, 
three, two, one. Fish on. Didn't work. I just thought of a potentially crazy idea that might actually work really well. Um, you know that channel where we were catching all the bass earlier, just one after the other? Um, if I maybe go there at night and I use my bright headlamp and I kind of roam the channel quietly and I can spot their eyes, I could cast on them because they'll definitely be roaming there for nighttime, I feel like, because it'll be nice and shallow. We should probably just try that. It sounds exciting and fun and, and it, you know, it's a theory of mine that could work out. And if, you know, I, some of these times I'll say, oh, this is, you know, this is a really good idea. It'd probably work and then I never do it. But this one I actually think would and I probably should. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna suit up and get ready for that. We've got 45 minutes till the sun sets. So we should be back there for sunset and then just fish that channel because I know there's going to be walleye because it's it's not like it's crazy rushing water. They can easily swim through that channel. Uh, so, yeah, that's probably what we should go do. That sounds that sounds fun. It sounds like we're going to we're going to do good. You know, another thing that I've never really tried as far as fishing and trolling goes, like I haven't utilized this. You know, I've been doing two lines because you're only allowed to have one pole, but you're allowed to have multiple hooks and lures and, and configurations on one pole. I should be doing the floater Rapala that I use for walleye while I use the deep diver. I should always be doing that because that just doubles my chances and it's not like the floater is going to bring the deep diver that far up. I mean, maybe it will, but for walleye, that'd work perfect. I'm going to try that once we get to camp. I'm going to keep this going for now. But uh, on our way to getting to the spot for fishing, for night fishing these walleyes in this channel, we are gonna we're gonna try try that out and see if it works. Because logic would tell me if one's supposed to dive to 15 feet and the other is supposed to only go to five feet, it'll stay up, and the other will go down, and they'll just have this like nice little, you know, it'll look like a school, little mini school of fish, potentially. All right, I just, something didn't feel right that I didn't have a bite yet, so I had to check my line, and of course, they were twisted up. <laughs> it was wiggling and still everything. I think the one was swimming just fine, but, uh, so now I switched to my two Rapala idea, and uh, these seem to work perfect together as long as I do one thing, and that's not let, because they're both floaters, as long as I don't let the deep diver float up when I'm letting out line like that, uh, and catch the other one, it should be good to go. I've got the deep diver on the shorter uh, leader and the floater on the, the five foot one on the uh, longer leader. So it should work. But yeah, we're just gonna troll our way back to camp and it's gonna start to get chilly. So I'm gonna suit up with my boots and everything. And then we will head out I'm gonna bring some extra batteries too because I'm gonna want super bright. I don't want my headlamps to be super bright uh, so I can see their eyes. And then I can kinda, of, I might just, I might coast along. I don't know, this is kinda of, this is kinda of exciting. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. We're gonna probably be up pretty late tonight if we're doing this. But I think it, I think it'll be fun. I think it's something we should definitely try. saw a fish surface right out in front of camp. They're still trolling our lines. We're gonna run it right past him. 
and maybe we'll get them. I don't think it was a walleye, I think it was a bass, but still, it'll still be fun to catch another fish. And we're still not keeping bass. Now that we're doing this mission, and like, I have a good feeling, we're going, we're going, we're going all in on the walleye. Walleye or bust. Unless it gets super late, and then, no walleye or bust, nope. Nope, we're, we're getting walleye. Walleye. I hope. I sure hope. Okay, I've got the boots on. I've got batteries. I see fish surfacing all over. It's a perfectly calm evening. The sun's setting. It's staying up longer than I thought it was gonna. There might be an extra 15 minutes. Either way, um, when we get over there, if it's not dark yet, I might try to, oh, there's just fish surfacing everywhere. I might try to grab some firewood quick. Um, otherwise, we're not gonna be having a fire tonight. that if you did that was a partridge drum to replay the sound so it sounds like though I was just bringing this in right before the another pike. Dang it. I know you're gonna freak out. Mosquitoes are out pretty bad right now. There's another one. I think it's another bass. Yep, dang it. Oh, that was a largemouth bass, too. I just Reamed him in. We got another one on. 
This one feels hefty. Oh, it's a bass. It's a big bass. It's pulling out some drag. Is it a bass or is it a pike? I can't see it. Oh, well, that's a bass. It's a chunky Bobby bass. I should just net this guy. Or else it's going to be a mess. Jeez, this thing might be bigger than the last one. Holy crap. Jeez. Oh no, the one I had earlier was still bigger. Yep. But this guy's a pretty good bass. Let's let that big chunker go. Jeez. That one I had earlier was huge. I don't know if you can see me right now, but that, my friends, is a walleye. <laughs> Mission success. It's not huge, but uh, two or three of these, and we will be feasting tonight. So, yeah, it worked out. We got a Walter. We're having a meal tonight. Let's get another one. Oh, yeah. We got another fish on. This one is... Another walleye. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Yes. 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 We got another walleye. Good eater size. Okay, we're gonna need one more if we wanna have a, a good eat. I think even with one more, we're not going to have as much fish as we did with when we had Larry. But that's okay. We're going to get one more of these. <laughs> I can't believe this has worked. <laughs> oh. Yeah, these aren't monsters, but they're, they're definitely eaters. Oh, there goes another walleye. Oh, there's another walleye. There's tons of walleye. Oh my gosh. We just need to secure dinner and then we'll then we'll mess around with with capturing one on camera. Alright, you might not be able to see anything. I apologize about that, but casting out going for another walleye. I can see their eyes. I'll bring it in right next to the boat. Oh. Oh, we just got one. We just got another one. <laughs> I can see his eyes from there. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Yes, 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 yes. This is so great. I am so happy I decided to do this. All right, another beautiful little eater walleye. This is all we need for dinner. Now it's just a matter of how many can we catch in the next 45 minutes. <laughs> Gonna get him on the stringer. There's walleye number four. All right, that's four. We're gonna let him go, we're going, we're trying to beat our record of seven. All right, goodbye. There's five. Walleye number five is the smallest so far, but it's still a walleye. That's five. Two more to tie. Three more to break. All right, he's going free. See you, little guy. Plenty. Good, Monty. Yeah, you look like you're chilling, Monty. That's a good boy. Oh, we got another bass. Oh! Come here, Bobby. I'm gonna let you go. There's another, another Bobby bass. He's gonna go bye bye. Okay, um, so the record remains intact for walleye of seven because we only got five. Um, I saw so many. Um, it just seemed like after a minute there, they either, I made too much noise and they just stopped going for everything. They were just not biting my leeches or anything. Because when it started, like every single one of them, I, I would see their eyes and then I would see the leech and I would just see them rushing towards it. And then towards the end there, I was seeing all sorts of eyes moving all over and they would just go past it and some of them would kind of rush after it and then stop. I don't know what that was about. So maybe they got used to it or they just heard me or saw me. I don't really know. But there was so many walleye. Like I could see at least 20 that weren't biting. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna head back, back to camp. I've got firewood. I got a couple of pieces I need to process this up. Uh, we're probably just going to keep them as big logs and kind of burn them like that. Uh, so we'll try fishing from camp too, because it's, we're, we're going for a record tonight. We have to catch two to tie three to beat it, but we're going to get pretty late tonight, but it's okay. This is, like I said, probably one of the best days of fishing I've ever had. So I'm just relishing it and we're going to have a feast. We're going to have a Walter with a little, little, uh, uh, crawdad tails okay anyways it's almost like a full moon out you probably can't see it i'll try it looks like it's almost it's almost a full moon but i'm gonna shut off my headlamp and paddle we'll see if you can pick it up on the gopro it'll probably look like a little light beam that right there is an almost full moon um it may not seem like it to you guys but with this full moon out i can see so well i mean i can see myself i can see the boat I can even see the trees. It's so bright out. Like it's, it's almost like, it's almost like low light daylight, daytime. Like I can see just fine, which makes this a sweet paddle. Spike fish turtle.
he just took off. I think I just saw it. Okay. So I have got the firewood kind of processed up a bit. I've got the fish filleted. All we've got to do now is uh, prepare this here white onion and uh, start the fire and gets to cooking our feast. It's gonna be a little bit of a late dinner, like I said, but this is okay. Tomorrow is not, It's we've got one big portage tomorrow and that's it. And then, uh, yeah, so we're gonna just relish in the feast that we've created tonight. It's gonna be so good. Okay, we're gonna add this to the pan. Then we're gonna add a big old chunk of butter to the pan. And let's spark up this fire and get to cooking. embarrassing thing without beautiful beautiful water now we've got to portion it out for me and Monty here uh, it's definitely not as much as the other night but still Monty needs a fair share here Pretty good. 
All right, we're gonna get some water in there and get Monty's cooking. We got our crawdads boiling. Those are almost done. I'm about to uh, take those off and then peel out the tails, and then we'll cook those up with the fish. Ooh, there we go. Nice little crawdad tail. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna peel all these. We'll clean them off. I'm gonna get out the poop shoots, which is right there. See, so get out that poop. That's that's the mud vein right there. Now that is a clean, delicious little morsel. Ooh, yeah. All right, we're gonna get these all cleaned up. So good. Those are delicious little mini lobsters. Oh yeah, it's not much, but uh, that's gonna be tasty. We'll give Monty one, but uh, he's not gonna notice. I mean, we'll give him one. We'll put it in his food, but he's not gonna care. I will though. Another healthy chunk of butter. And then of course, the rest of our black morel mushrooms that I found and dehydrated. Our Walter. Going in. Oh, yeah. on top of that we need some Montreal steak seasoning oh yeah bring that to the next level there we go Pretty good. And a uh, little tail for Monty. Alright, Monty's is done. I'm gonna add in his doggy food. Add in his pumpkin. We're gonna set this off to the side to cool. Oh, that's almost done. Oh, that fire is so hot. So hot. All right, I'm just gonna stir in my uh, little crawdad tails and we're gonna f call that done. I just want these to get heated up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's done, it's coming off. And then of course to finalize it. 
to take our mashed potatoes, baby reds, put them right in that bowl. And with the fork of approval, that is a feast. Let's eat. Let's see if it's cool enough for you yet. Not quite. We need a little more a little water. Drooling in your own food, Monty. You shouldn't do that. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. He's like, what? What, what do you mean? I just, I just don't even know what to do right now. Oh. I've got a sliced lemon, Monty. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this one. All right, I'm gonna find myself a crowded tail real quick. Oh, here we go. Hmm. They definitely are mini lobsters. Oh yeah. Those black morels add such a good flavor. Another little crawdad. Um, cooking those up made me realize how much work it would be to make like a meal out of those, the little ones. Um, down south, I mean, you can have a crawfish boil, but those are like the the biggest one I had. Those are probably, on average, bigger than that one. Uh, the rest of these were pretty small. Huh. What was that, Monty? So it's a lot of work to get a little bit of meat. Mmm. Go ahead, eat your food, Monty. I can definitely taste when I'm getting a crawdab. It's totally different texture than the uh, fish. Different flavor, too. All right, it's getting pretty late. Uh, it's almost two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be sleeping in tomorrow. Um, the moon is out. I'm gonna shut off this light and just kind of look out. I can't, the stars are, they're out, but uh, it's more so the moon. I just wanna kind of watch the woods and whatnot, but we're gonna let this fire burn down. I've got a big mess of crap you can see that I gotta clean up. So uh, we will check back in with you guys when it is tent time and bedtime. Okay.
It's like an oven in here. The sun came out and it's getting so hot! Ah! Alright, Machi, we need to get out of here. It's disgustingly warm in here. And it just hit us both. Monty's panting now, as you can see, he's warm. Alright, we're getting out of here. Let's get up, let's do it. Okay, freedom. Did you pop this pad, Monty? Oh, no. No, Monty, no. This pad is definitely popped. great. You can see the hole right here. This trip's just been a pad pop in good time. Auntie, what are you doing? You got a stick stuck in your fur. <laughs> you, mister. You popped two pads in one camping trip. I don't even want to talk to you. Get away. Get away. <coughs> no, don't. <coughs> Whoa, watch yourself. Watch yourself. Mr. Pad Popper. Mr. Pad. <coughs> Come here. You, Mr. I can't believe it. You know, it's not the first time we've popped a pad on this channel. Like I was saying, he's... Oh no! What could have caused a hole? Yeah, I don't know. What happened? Papa, I, nobody did anything wrong. He but just, what happened? He popped my air mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Ruger pop punk sleeping pad with which paw? The one foot I forgot to trim his nails on. <laughs> Monty, why would you do this to me? Why would you do that? I can't believe what you just did. He literally just walked onto the sleeping pad and did his stupid little nesting thing. He did two scratches, ripped a hole in this sleeping pad, right there, there it is, ripped a hole in it, and then he went out late on this one because that one lost air. <laughs> you can see the hole right here. This trip's just been a pad pop in good time. And it won't be the last. We were going for no pop pads 2021, but apparently that Monty made sure that wasn't gonna happen. You know, we had two fish dinners and we've got two pop pads. Coincidence? I think not. All right, Monty, you stinky, stinky doggy. Look at his butt. Look at his fluffy butt. This booty right here, this dense booty, is what popped these pads. It's this dense booty, Monty. Oh, it's gorgeous out today. So anyways, let's queue up the coffee oatmeal sequence and uh, get to packing. Then we can get on that water paddle porch fishing. Yeah, okay, let's do it. It's hot.
peculiar creature, also known as the beaver retriever. Notice how its dense booty keeps it afloat in the water. It brings us back this stick time and time again as it enjoys it. Poopy. Most poopy. In case you're wondering, yes, I am sitting on a rock completely butt naked eating hot oatmeal and co drinking hot coffee. Uh, it's just that hot today. I mean, you can see the blue skies. I just need to air things out before we uh, finish packing here. So I've got a, a wide V sit right now just to let everything air out. Uh, it's just too dang hot. I don't know how we're going to survive today. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up my coffee and oatmeal, and then we're gonna get in that water to paddle and forge and fishing. Let's do it. All right, Stinky. Let's get aboard the SS Hot, Hot, Hot. Hot, Hot, Hot. Yeah, we're gonna be in the sun for a minute, pal. There is not much we can do about it. Not too much we can do about it. Oh. Okay, and we are off. We. It is just a blue skies day. We got a few clouds coming in. I hope we get a lot more clouds by the time we get to the portage. Uh, it is so hot right now. I just I used uh, 
a lot of my sunscreen. I just dumped it on, as you can see, it probably seemed really greasy. It's because I just put on a ton. It's too hot to wear my life preserver and my shirt and my pants and all that. So I just coated myself in sunscreen. And if there's any spots on me that are white, it's because I didn't rub it in. I'm sorry about that, but I can't, I don't have a mirror right now. It's packed away, my little survival mirror thingy. So yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with it. You are so dang stinky. You always smell like a fart. You smell like poo and pee. <laughs> a little love in your fart. Oh! And the Monty has got the cutest face. It's so stinky. All over the place for you, for me, stinky. Oh yeah, there's the clouds we're looking for. Now if only these would stay for the entirety of this portage. I think this portage will take us an hour. So that's, like I said, I'm gonna take it slow, but man, it feels so nice once the clouds, you can tell they're gonna end soon. Clouds are crazy. Whoa, it feels so weird <laughs> paddling and like looking straight up. <laughs> so we don't got far to go to the portage right up here oh my gosh I can't believe it there's only three portages left in the trip oh my gosh it's coming to an end already another year another season we gotta stop thinking about that we're on a we're on a full day last full day it's not that it's not over I mean so many things could happen we could catch the biggest fish of our lives we could have a moose uh, you know come up and bring us a baby wolf cub and let us pet it anything can happen there's so much time left I am sad we're not seeing any moose and it's I I really do blame the weather it's just too hot it's just too hot for them to want to do anything other than sit in the shade I don't want to do much other than sit in the shade except fish of course but still I can't blame them I don't blame the moose I don't blame you mooses out there just have to let them know I don't blame them. The clouds do, however, make me see these nice rocks and make me want to take a cast before we do this portage. So, we're just going to take a few casts because, like I said, we've got time. We might stay on the next lake, we might stay on the lake after that, but we don't know. We might stay on the lake we started on. But what I do know is we've got to catch a fish today, and there's only one way to catch a fish, and that's to catch cost for a fish. I probably really should be moving towards this portage and getting it as much done as I can in the shade as possible. But you know, I'm not always the brightest light bulb in you know the fixture. And that's just, that's just the way it is. Oh, I just want to fish. Oh, it's back. Oh, and it's just as hot as ever. Man, that is just like a 30 degree swing. Just immediately, just, just instant, just hot. Stay away, please. 
just 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 for a little while i just i just need it to be just shaded It burns. Okay. We can't sit in the sun. I can't do it. There's no wind right now. I can't do it. I gotta, let's get this porch done. It looks like it's about to downpour. Oh, Monty. We better finish this portage. This wolf poop portage. I don't got the rain gear on me. Poop. More wolf poop. Thunderstorm. I saw some lightning in it, but it's moving to our left, it looks like. That's a crazy looking cloud. Almost looks like a, like a Monty laying down, kind of looking to his left. I think we'll draw that out there. Kinda. Definitely looks like we're gonna miss this thunderstorm though. ourselves a campsite here. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. We are at our campsite for the evening. We have got 
we've got five and a half hours of light left. Um, I'm gonna sit on this point. I got my chair, I got water, I got the bottles, I got the food bag. I am gonna do a good bit of relaxing here. Uh, Monty, he's gonna come down as soon as I, here, he's already coming, he's working his way down. Um, yeah, so nothing crazy is gonna happen before I set up. I'm gonna plop my butt down in this chair for a good hour or two, and we are just gonna embrace the beautiful wilderness in our last full day. Nothing crazy, I'm not doing any fishing in this wind right now. We're definitely gonna go slay some fish later. I can promise you that. It's a nice day. It would take, it would take the worst weather possible for me to not go out fishing and catch some fish tonight, because it's, it's gonna happen. And Monty's gonna, he's gonna find a nice spot. He's getting those drips from the water filter. Anyways, yeah, nothing crazy. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there's a good boy. He knows where the treats are from. He's gonna get it dripped on by that. He's gonna go nuts. <laughs> he's not gonna like that. He's not gonna last there long. Anyways, yeah, nothing crazy. This is what we're gonna be doing for the next couple hours. So maybe I'll record a little clip of it. Maybe I won't. Anyways, we'll check back in with you guys in a bit. It's time to just embrace the nice weather sit in the shade wish i had my hammock but i didn't bring it Monty. <laughs> it's scary. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Monty. Only one way to make it right, Monty. I'm sorry for what I did. It's a uh, epic sweet and savory bison and uncured bacon bites. You can have the rest of all the beef jerky. There you go. That's a good boy. I'm sorry, Monty. I scared you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I make it better with treats, okay? <laughs> I feel bad. I scared the crap out of him. Oh, I got him so good. I'm sorry, Monty. Well, I feel a little guilty. It's okay. <laughs> I got him too good there. Monty, I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore the rest of the trip. Don't do what you ever do the good. Oh, it's so scary! I saw your face! He still wants to sit next to me, though. That means he forgives me. Or maybe he just wants more bacon bites. I can't tell which one it is. I know what you're thinking. That's some sexy stuff right there. Oh, yeah! It's so dang windy! It's insanely windy. Even in the sun, I'm feeling just like, I'm not feeling hot. I'm probably getting burnt to a crisp. You can probably barely even hear this. But I think we should probably set up camp now. Uh, it's been a couple hours here, so. Okay, Monty, what do you think? You wanna set up treats? I mean camp? Treats? I mean camp. I'm sorry. I mean camp, not treats. Camp, not treats. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's insanely windy right now. Um, I've got my camera, I got my dry bag, the mouth is sitting over the microphone, so if it's not super windy, that's the only reason why. But it is just gusting. It's crazy. It's like, I feel like it's like 30 mile an hour winds right now, just sustained. It is pretty windy. 
So I don't know if you can, it's, it sounds like I'm yelling, it's because I can't tell if you can hear me or not because the, the wind is so loud. But we're going to set up right here. I hope it dies down. I mean, we've got three and a half hours of light left. And if it don't settle down, we're going to have a tough time fishing. There is one or two bays that are out of the wind that I can fish. So we'll have to catch them there. But I have a feeling it'll probably die. It'll die down enough at least. Uh, but yeah, it's windy. It's super windy. So yeah, what 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 I get for scaring Monty is that he popped both sleeping pads. Not just the same one twice. He popped both of them. And and like I thought, I thought it was one hole. He actually made two holes on it. There's two slices. So I'm gonna try to fix it with the same patches, and uh, we'll see how that works. But anyways, yeah, it's super windy, so I'm not going to record much of this. We're going to set up the tent just like we always do. Uh, Monty's sitting there in the shade. We'll give you a little shot of him as I'm setting up. And then we'll check back in with you when we see what we're doing about fishing. About me, I'm just I'm just setting up.
Okay, Monty. You having a drink there? You having a, you having a drink? What'd you think? Great. You're making me nervous uh, with your standing thingy going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, is there a Monty shift? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Monty. Please sit down, Monty. Oh, oh, Wilbur. Oh, Wilbur. Oh, oh, oh. Why, thank you, sir. Why, thank you. So, I can't take it anymore. It's uh, two hours of light left. The winds are, it's still pretty windy, but uh, we're heading out anyways. Uh, there's some there's some bays that are out of the wind that we're gonna start in. I'd say it's about 15% calmed down. So we can handle that, we can handle 15%. Um, yeah, and it'll get calmer as it gets towards dark, but we're gonna catch fish by then, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna catch so many fish, it's just gonna be insane. Insane. So uh, yeah, let's fish these little calm bays to start, and then we'll work our way uh, that way where the wind's coming from and then we'll just drift our way back so we don't have to fight the wind. I don't want to fight the wind. But when we get little breaks like this, I'm going to cast along shore here. So let's catch some fish. Let's do it. Okie dokes. There we go. Yeah, I cast it. Poor cast, but we got to cast out. Now, no matter what happens, we're not we're not keeping any fish for dinner. We are, we are set on that. We are fishing for fun right now. We're having spaghetti for dinner. And uh, we've already got firewood, everything's set up. We just need to catch one for our goal. I plan on catching more than one though. Unless uh, things don't go according to my plan, which has happened before. Uh oh, we didn't get one on the first three casts. I think we might be in trouble. Uh oh. For now we're just gonna scoot along this shoreline here. Oh jeez. This makes me wanna get out of the wind. As soon as those gusts come along. But then again, when we're out of the wind, we're into the hot sun. Oof. It's a, it's a, I can't wear this right now. Everything's everything's a uh, what's what's the what's the thing I'm looking for? A trade-off. Oh, well, that's a fish. Ooh, we got one. We got one. We got a monster little rock bass. Hey, our goals for the trip have been accomplished. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, it counts. It's a fish. <laughs> oh, a teeny fish, but hey. Since when was a, a teeny fish not a fish? <laughs> oh, that better not be our only fish for the day, though. That was a that was a sad little guy. It was even a small rock bass. It's a teeny rock bass. Oh, there we go. Monster Bobby Bass. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just tooted. Wow. Would you just look at this? The it's at least seven inches. Catching. What are these teeny little things that are happening? Oh, we got another one. What's going on? Look at the size of these teeny things. All right, we need to go a little deeper. This is this is regosh darn ridiculous. I mean, that's like five inches. I mean, we need to get a, a fish release cam on this monster. Just a little bit. 
I said that I said it's about like eight feet, maybe a little bit more. Eight to ten feet, somewhere in there. So we're just gonna go out a few feet from shore because it drops right off. But maybe the bigger ones are sitting out a little bit further. Just just a little deeper. Now that we're out of the wind, the black flies have decided to show up to the party. Could also be that maybe we're just, there's just a couple small ones that right in these spots. Definitely nothing like uh, the other day, two days ago. Or was that yesterday? Oh, that was yesterday, wasn't it? Look at all those monsters. All right, we've got some downed trees. Please do me justice down trees. Oh, we got, a, we got a bite already. Something's taking it. I can see it moving. Okay, at least feels better than the last couple. This feels like an actual bass. Oh, not the biggest bass, but hey. All right, we, we got them. We're, I don't feel like netting them. Okay, not a monster. We're improving. <laughs> Things are getting better. We're gonna save the fish release camp when we get a real, real bass. Was that our first largemouth of the trip? I think it was. This one. Oh, he got off. That was the biggest one so far. Dang it. Did he? How did he break? I must need new. No, I put brand new line on this. What the heck is going on here? Oh, jeez. There's a beaver right here. What the heck? It broke. It must, there was a beaver right next to us. He was back this way. Is he going behind us, Monty? Saw his little air bubbles. Where'd he go? Stinking beaver. I think you're so cool, beaver, because you can swim underwater. I can hold my breath super long. Whoa. That's the second one I've lost like that, where it's just breaking above the knot. And I think the reason is, is because I keep uh, fishing along rocks and stuff, and it's just... Uh, what the heck is that, that beaver? Scary beavers. Anyways, I think it's, yeah, just getting uh, beat up from the rocks and stuff. And then, every once in a while when a bass pulls too hard, it breaks off. Just a couple of loons coming to say hello, Monty. Yeah, don't worry about them. Loon, 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 loon. Hello, loons. If you want to come swim, <clears throat> if you want to come swim under my boat, I'll record you. Watch a fish. You know, give you your time to shine on the internets. You know, I'll put you on that video. Yeah, you could be YouTube famous. Come on, come on over. No, 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 no,
We're gonna hold them out. Dang it, I was messing around with the camera and I lost the dang fish and I got a snag on a branch here. Oh, the fish is still on here. Oh, geez. It just wrapped around a tree, I know it. All right, we're gonna have to go in. It must be hooked pretty good. I saw it surface and I casted near it. Uh, let's see if we can if we can do this. It's gonna be tough to do without snapping a line. Yeah, I don't think he's definitely still on there. If he could just work himself free. What is what am I hooked on? What is the deal? see what we're working with here. All right, looks like he got free. I think. not gonna make it I think we're losing this one I think the, the fish is gone but we're, it wrapped around a tree just give me my bobber back okay Maybe we're gonna get him back. Yeah, definitely the reason we lost that one is because I was messing around with the camera trying to get it. Uh, I, it's on my little uh, bendy arm thingy and I bent it too hard and it popped off. So if I would have let go, oh, dang it, there was another bite. If I would have let go, I would have lost the camera. Oh, you can see it biting, whatever it is. Doesn't seem big. Yeah, we don't we don't want whatever that is it's too small but that fish felt like the first real fish of the day the rest of these have been pretty pretty small well the, the one was pretty big before but that was definitely the biggest so far whatever that was it's probably a bass could have been a pike yeah you can tell right away if it's a little fish because if they uh if it just goes beep, 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 it's a little fish if it goes right down that's a big fish Ooh, there's got to be something right there. There's got to be. Oh yeah, there's one. I knew it. I knew it. I could feel it. I could feel it. I could just, I could just feel it. Hey, that's the biggest Bobby of the of the day. Oh. Ah. Okay, now if I had a choice of what bobby bass to eat, it would be this guy right here. He's like perfect eating size. He's not full of eggs. This is what I would be eating if I had a choice. Right here. That looks like it's about 14, 15 inches. This is my preferred eater size for a bass. So with that being said, we got to get a fish release cam on this guy. The 
you're wondering why I like to get so much underwater footage of releasing the fish, catching the fish underwater, it's just because I'm fascinated by underwater stuff, you know, because it's just, it looks so cool to me. So I just, I just love it. I got some loon footage underwater, like in the turtles, snappers. I like when you get a big snapper, that's sweet. Um, I'd love to capture some more loon footage. Those are tricky ones when they go swimming by your boat because it's so quick. Another thing I'd like to try is capturing beavers underwater. That would be cool. It's just so tough. I don't know how. I mean, I guess what I could do is like set up the GoPro near one of their beaver homes, kind of creep up, s take a stick and kind of set it nearby and then make a noise and let them swim out of their home. I don't know. It seems like that would take a lot of time to try and do that one. But hey, you know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll give it a shot one of these days. See if we can capture some underwater beaver footage because they don't let you get close. They're not like loons. Loons will come check you out because they're interested or intrigued. Beavers, they, they don't want anything to do with you. They just slap the water and they're like, get away from me. Get away, get in this in my place. They're angry, angry beavers. The beavers are not friendly. <gasps> Uh-oh, we're about to get back into the wind. So it seems like the wind is going to stay. Uh, so we're probably just going to... Ah, jeez! Oh, that felt good. Really good. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Anyways, I was going to say, we're going to fish this corner out of the wind. And we're probably just going to work our way back to camp. I mean, we've got 45 minutes of sunlight left. I'm not uh, too worried about, you know, staying out till dark fishing. Ooh, we got a beaver home. Should we try the beaver thing? We should. We got we to gotta try it once. We got a beaver home right here. We're going to try... Oh, be quiet. We're going to try setting up the camera. Somehow, some way, let's see. Okay, I don't know if that worked at all. We'll have to see when we get home because what I did is I basically, uh, there was a branch next to the, the beaver home. I slapped the water, I set it up and then I slapped the water and then I moved on and I, I sat over here and I fished for like 20 minutes. But I ended up just watching because I could see the beavers definitely swimming around. So they were, they, they, they were out and about. I don't know. Uh, whew, it just got chilly. I've been messing around. I, I kind of I was fishing, but I, I was I was more watching. I don't know why. I was paranoid that the beavers were so smart that they were gonna like take my camera. They were gonna be like, "What the heck is this? Stupid idiot left this here." Well, we're gonna take it, and just destroy it, or just like munch the branch or something. I don't know. But we'll see if I got anything there. Hopefully I caught something. They were they were at least swimming around. I don't know. But the sun has just set. So we're going to catch one more fish. And then we're going to head back, spark up a fire, and get to cooking. Because I didn't really... I, like, I took some casts and I was like, eh... Ah. And then when I went to when I went to go back and get my camera, I actually saw if I would have had my camera on me, I saw one underwater for a split second. They were kind of just like up in the reeds. I've never seen one that close. But yeah, beavers are always angry, so they're angry if you go next to their home, they're angry if you fish on their lake. They're just not they're not happy.
But that's something I'm gonna have to try from now on. Like if I see a beaver home, just set up my camera real quick, slap the water, go away. One of these times I'm gonna capture them on camera swimming in or out. It's gonna happen. It is going to happen. It's just inevitable. It is so windy. If it stays this windy uh, for tomorrow for our paddle home, that is gonna be rough. It's a big lake, we gotta make a big crossing and the wind's coming in the exact opposite way we want it to. It's coming in the worst way. If it's like this tomorrow, we're gonna have to suit up and stick near shore. And if we stick near shore, it's gonna be just it's gonna be rough. And we have to pretty much go across the entire thing. So that's gonna be really interesting. But we need a, there's a big old down tree. The wind is just crazy right now. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to have a fire when we get back to camp. If it's like this, we might not have a fire. If it's just like whoosh. I mean, listen to it. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Give me some cheese. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There it is. That's a fish. That's a fish right there. That is a large mouth, Bobby. The wind is getting so intense. Why are they so small here? Huh? This is... You know, back home... I mean, this is... This is a this is a good eater right here. I'd be totally happy with this guy right here. But now that I'm spoiled, I, d I want him to be all just like 23 inches and huge and just put on a show. Not, not a, not your average 14, 15 inch or Bobby Bass. We're still gonna do a fish release cam because we like the underwater. I said two more fish, right? Or did I say three more fish? I can't, I can't remember. Was it three or four? It might've been four more fish before we head back to camp. I just can't remember. Okay, fine, 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 Monty. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, Monty. There's no need to complain, okay? We can head back. Oh, see, there, there, there it is. Oh, this one feels nice. Ish. Oh, don't go around that tree. Don't you, don't you dare. No. Not worthy of a fish cam, not worthy. Well, we're getting the bites. We're getting the bite. I can see it happening. These are some small fish, see, okay. Now remember I was talking about how sometimes there can be too many fish and it makes it so, like if there's too many bass, they'll all start to get small and stunted. This could be happening in this lake. I doubt it because it's a pretty big, deep lake, but uh, it can happen when you get just tons and tons of small bass, they all are competing for food. So we probably should do our part and eat some, but we're not having a fish dinner today. We'll, we'll, we'll plan it another day. We'll have, a, we'll have a big old fish fry here someday with Bobby Bass. Maybe we'll bring Captain Teeny Trout. It'll be a great time. That's what we can do. We'll, we'll bring Captain Teeny Trout here for a big old Bobby fish fry, because these are perfect eater size. Don't get me wrong. The big ones are fun to catch. These guys are more fun to eat. Oh, there we go. Ooh. 
I think that was number three, so we need to catch one more before I hit, we get the four fish, like I said. Don't do me like this. Come, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, we had him. We had him. He let go. Five, four, three, two, one. Fish out. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's just, let's just. You're gonna bite the leech at some point. One of you bass. Let's just do it already. Right here. Right, right, right here. All right. Monty is just in the back complaining, 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 complaining. So we just need to head back now. We're only got our three fish. After the other fish on top of the all the fish on the last day of fishing of the fishing trip all right Monty is just complaining so much we have to go all right let's go back to camp complain 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 Monty all you do is you complain you sit in the back of the boat on your little sleeping pad like you're all high and mighty just oh oh you didn't catch that one oh can we just be done with this? You're not a good fisherman. I know you're not. I, I'm with you every time you fish. I just want, I see it. You don't got it what it takes, okay? Just give up. Yeah, what if I give you a treat? Then is the fishing okay if I treat you to a treat at the dog park? Dog park treat? Well, Monty, I got news for you. This is the dog park. This has been the dog park all week. Every time we're out here, it's the dog park. This is where the gopher is. Don't you get it? Get it? Get it? Get it, buddy? Gopher dog park with a tree? This is also the tree. Tree is the dog park. Dog park is the tree. It is for me. Okay. I'll stop blabbing. I'll let you enjoy your, your last little evening paddle for the trip. It's a little windy, but we're still gonna have a fire. Because we got this nice firewood.
it's a good idea to have a fire in this wind because it is a little dry. We're gonna put this thing out. We're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make food in the vegetable. We're just gonna hang out with the tent. <laughs> it just like my chair is blew on him. Yeah, it's just too windy. Well, I know this isn't the most ideal thing, but uh, it is what it is. Um, for those of you that have watched me for a long time, you'll know that wind is my least favorite element of all the camping elements of outdoors. It scares me the most. Um, it, it's, it's, it's what makes me the most paranoid, I guess, out of anything, because wind can crack a tree, can up, uproot a tree, it can just bring big waves. Wind's just not my favorite thing. And like, I was fine with this campsite and then I just started like, the wind has just been as bad as it was earlier today. It, it kind of died down before we went fishing and then you can hear it out there um, every once in a while, like when we were by the fire, like there was just some gusts. It was just like, oh my gosh, like, the reason I don't want to have a fire is because it's not that I wouldn't, we can't just sit outside, you know, enjoy. It's just that uh, the fire, since it's a little drier and there's dry pine needles and everything everywhere, we're burning pine. So one ember cracks and just gets carried with the wind real quick. And then if it lights up, it will just, it'll go. So I was just like, you know what? No, I'm not burning down the wilderness that I love. So. Yeah, you can hear Augustus coming, and we can feel the wind in here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can definitely feel a breeze. Uh, Monty would probably prefer to sit out there, but the mosquitoes are really bad, actually. Uh, even though the wind is insane, if the wind wasn't insane, oh my gosh, the mosquitoes would be just eating us. But uh, yeah, I had just I just had the real realization that there's a chance that we might not be going home tomorrow. Um, if it does, if this, if this is just a weather change and this wind is like here to stay for the next 24 hours, I don't think it's safe to paddle across that big lake. Like it's big, round, and open, and the direction this wind is coming from is right the direction we got to go. And basically, here's the shape of like the lake and we'll be down here we got to go this way so the wind is just it's coming like this so that's bad you d it'll be kind of at our side I'd rather have it straight on than at, at my side so we'll see in the morning uh, worst case scenario we are gonna actually go to the lake and I think we'll uh, just pick a campsite there worst case scenario uh, I think we'll be able to make it if we get up early I'm gonna get up pretty early and try to get the wind when it's man is it windy oh, man. it's just so windy all right we need to start making dinner here so I'm gonna just cook up in the vegetable right here uh, dinner with the little jet boil and if you're worried about fumes or anything it is so much airflow right now there's no way we can fume ourselves I could feel the wind when, when I open this up yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna need a wind I wish I had a windscreen for down here for using the jet boil it's so windy oh, okay so yeah I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna leave the camera there I'm not I'm not messing around so I'm gonna start boiling stuff up and uh, yeah, I'm using my chair in the tent. It's not so bad. I've never done this, but it's got enough headroom to where. Well, I mean, I could be in the middle, but I'm for recording purposes. I'm in the corner. Anywho, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some food here. Yeah, yeah, critter. That's yours. Go ahead. Good boy. <laughs> oh, mine is heated up and it's cooling down. 
it's uh I just ran out of gas so I didn't simmer it as long as I'd like to but uh, it'll be good enough it'll, it, it was boiling for a minute but I would like to go a few minutes but anyways um, that's one thing I also want to talk about is uh, back in the day I used to always use those uh, alcohol burning stoves and I wouldn't use the uh, jet boils or anything like that because I always just for some reason thought those were more fuel efficient until I went out with Captain Teeny Trout like last summer and he was using the jet boil and I had two tall containers full of denatured alcohol and I ended up going through I think both of those and he used one little can and he still had fuel left over and I was like what the heck like we cooked with his and everything and I was just like my mind was blown and ever since then I was I didn't realize for all those years that I was just they're so inefficient those alcohol burning so you have to use so much more fuel or you have to bring it and it's just a lot of weight it's just like an entire Nalgene full of water weight that I used to carry around. So now I've completely switched. I don't even bother with those anymore just because of the fuel weight. It's just ridiculous. But uh, yeah. So I think it's starting to get a little chilly. I can feel the temperature changing. So I think this, uh, this wind is coming from a temperature change because it has been abnormally warm this whole week. And I just don't remember what the weather said, but I know it seemed like the draw, it was going to drop off next week after the trip. So this could just be the temperature change. So yeah, we'll have to play it by ear tomorrow. I'm not going to be paddling across this lake if it's this windy. I'm not paddling across a big lake. Uh, we'll either set up at a camp and wait until it dies down, or we'll just we're just going to have to play it by ear and see what happens. But It'll probably get a little chillier tomorrow if the temperature is changing. <sighs> oh, man, I'm getting sleepy. Oh, now I'm just waiting. I'm a spaghetti. And then, uh, yeah. Then after I eat, we're just going to pass out. Let's tell some ghost stories. Right, Monty? One time there was howling winds and the spaghetti got too cold. But I didn't burn my mouth. So spooky. Alright. We have got a big pot of spaghetti. Still seems pretty warm. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. So as you can see, I've got my sleeping bag liner on. I put on some thermals. It, it definitely is getting chillier. I can feel the temperature dropping. It's uh, it's getting chilly. So I'm thinking we're gonna have a cold paddle home, which will, I don't mind. I'd rather put on all my layers and stuff. I don't like, I, I like that over paddling in like the uh, sun and the heat. This wind don't seem like it's stopping though. Um, I'm going to finish up with my spaghetti here. And then uh, we're going to have to clean up the tent and get everything all figured out. And then I will check back in with you guys when it's time for bedtime. Guys, well, oh, uh, had a good day of swimming and chasing the sticks and stuff. Dad's kind of weird, and he was playing with beavers and stuff. But uh, he gave me some treats and food. He did scare the crap out of me, which I didn't appreciate. But you know, it's okay. So, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody.
Monty G, you have beady eyes. Look at that butt. Look at that butt. Look at that butt. It's so stinky. It's so stinky. It's so stinky. You're so stinky. As you can hear, the wind is still howling around. I got up. Oh, early hours and hours ago. Just to see if it was going to be different. It was even worse than it sounded like. So, um, yeah, it's chilly out. It's definitely chilly. So we're just going to, we're not going to make any coffee or any oatmeal. We're going to pack up. Uh, we're going to work our way across this lake and do the portages. We're going to make our way to the big lake. And we'll see what we're dealing with. Uh, we might just wait at the portage. We might try and move it along. We'll see. But it sounds like it's not quite as windy as last night, but it's still super windy. It's going to be rough. So anyways, yeah. I just thought we find a paddling. Anyways, we're going to get up. Hey, we're just gonna we're just gonna see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, Monty, you big fat porky piggy. You big fat piggy. Oh piggy 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 You just know how to pose in front of a campsite, huh? You sure do. Like I said, Monty's a paid actor. I mean, he's gotta be. And look at these pristine. Oh. These pristine poses he does. Anyways, it's chilly this morning. It's quite chilly. Uh, definitely the coldest day of the trip so far. The wind might have changed directions. It was coming from this way yesterday. Now it's coming from this way. So that could be good. Uh, I didn't really check the wind direction. I was assuming it was coming from the same way. So now that it's kind of shifted, we actually might be with the wind, which won't be that bad. Um, I still don't like when the winds, when it's super windy and it's at my back. I'm not a fan of that still, just because it can, if your boat turns a little bit, so if you're going with the wind and you get big waves and you're going like this and then all of a sudden you turn a little bit and then a wave pushes, it, it makes you go like that. So I still don't like, I still prefer the safest way I feel like to handle big waves is going straight at them so you can just kind of crest them and go you can aim right because yeah when they're coming at your backside if you get a big old one and you're just slightly turned and it just pushes your back end you just you get a little whoa and it's just I don't like it I don't like it on bit but it'll make quick travel we'll just have to stay straight we'll have to stay straight and make sure to keep moving So if you're wondering what the heck, why no coffee, why no oatmeal, well there's a specific reason. If you've watched any of my other adventures before, my uh, week long trips, we uh, have a specific tradition that me and Mr. Mount Stinky do after each trip. And that is we find the first available bacon cheeseburger and we both have a delicious snack. Monty might even get a little ice cream. Yeah, sometimes we've had, you know, nice restaurant burgers because that's the first one or fast food. And uh, I've even been as desperate as having to get one from a gas station. That was, that was the most unfortunate bacon cheeseburger, but still bacon cheeseburger. That's a tradition. The first one we can get our hands on, we like to starve ourselves and become ravenous, you know? So I like to be like, 
Right now I can probably eat some oatmeal, drink some coffee, but I got the energy from looking forward to that bacon cheeseburger and I'm gonna be ravenous when I get to it. I was like, nah, 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 nah. That's, that's why. That is why. I can eat granola bars if I really need food. I've got, I've still got granola bars. Cheeseburger for you and me. Gonna go straight to my heart. I mean, clog my arteries. But it will. It will taste so damn good. It'll be so tasty. It'll make you feel like it's good for you. For me. Bacon cheese. That's pretty much it. I've got like three things I need to pack away and just the DSLR. So I'm gonna pack away that camera. We're gonna get on that water to paddle it, portage in, and fish it. We shouldn't do any fishing, but we're probably gonna anyways. Pretty Monty? Yeah. Sure. You're giving some Monty. Oh, we should put on the life vest, Monty. Safety first. Monty, we are off. For the final time, I'm stinking. This trip, at least. Hopefully we're not off for the final time period. That'd be not good. Not good at all. All right. I swear it seems like the wind is slightly dying down as the morning progresses. Could be wrong, but I could be right. Or I could just be.
Beavers are so great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just caught them on camera. <laughs> Anytime, whenever you're fishing near their dams, they'll come out. So I just did one of those slaps on the water like they do to me all the time. <laughs> and I, I think I saw, I saw like bubbles. So I'm pretty sure I saw one come out. I don't know if my camera got it. I just attach it to my boat. We hope for the best, but I feel like I did. That'll be some cool footage. I've never captured beavers. That was kind of a goal uh, that I made up yesterday was, you know, I was like, oh, I never got beavers underwater. Well, I think I might have, and we will find out when I get home. But that's gonna be my new thing. We're gonna try to capture beavers because they're always coming out no matter what I do whenever I'm swimming by, so I might as well have my camera to the ready. But we need to try and catch a fish quick. There we go. There we go. Ah ha 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 ha. Bobby Bass, hello my friend. Hello my friend, we did it every day of the trip. Now this does make me want to catch more fish, but we're gonna stick to our word. Ooh, look at his fins. Whoa, he's got a mohawk going on. That's just, his fins got messed up. Anyways, let's send it off with a final fish release cam. That's a wrap on the fishing trip. Well, fishing portion. We still got to make it home. Anyways, that was uh, that was probably the best fishing trip I've ever had for sure. Normally, I don't catch that many fish. I still catch fish, but not like I did this trip. That was a lot of fun. So now we just got to make it home and see what we got. I'm excited to see if we got some beaver footage. I think we did, and that'll be so cool. It's hard to know uh, when you can't really see them. Come on, in you go. In you go, Mr. Stinky Butt. Very graceful, very graceful. Very good job. How's my hat hair? Is it everything you wished for? I sure hope so. We've got about another 100 feet till the next birdage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a bass right here at the portage and exit. We have to try, see if we can get him underwater cam. You gotta be kidding me, I wasn't recording that whole time. Dang nabbit! I thought I turned the camera on. Well, he was right there and I had to, I just had to catch him because I just can't, once I see a fish that close, I can't help myself.
Our captain needs his first mate. Climb aboard. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Good boy. We will surely sink without the first mate. He poops me toots. Let us begin the paddle. It honestly seems like it's calmed down a bit, which is great. Uh, it may not be a crazy amount, but it's definitely, I just don't hear the crazy gusts that we were hearing earlier this morning and all last night. I was a little nervous last night. The tree was going to snap and fall on us. That's my biggest fear, is that I'm in my tent, or camping under a tarp or something, and a big old windstorm, and a tree just falls on me. That's my biggest fear out in the woods, hands down. Animals, whatever. I have my own philosophies about animals and how I don't think that they care for noisy humans and dogs and barking and stuff. I think they try to stay away from that. But the trees and the wind, that's real. That, that can happen at any time. Because, I mean, I'm surrounded by trees constantly. I'm not surrounded by big scary animals all the time. Well, at least I don't think so. I may have spoke a, bit, a little too soon about the wind thingy. I can see white caps for sure out there. So that's, that's always interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's windy out there. Oh boy. Oh da boy. Alright, I take it back again. It seems the wind has calmed down a lot. So sleeping in paid off today. That's great. Unless it's just like a really calm portion, I think I think it's not so bad at all. I mean, we should be really getting blasted by wind right now from the direction it's coming from. But I don't even see many white caps. I mean, I see them, but not really close by in tons. I think the far side of the lake, I can see some bigger white caps. So maybe that's getting hammered a little more with the wind. But so far, so good. I think we're going to have a semi-easy paddle now. Yeah, this ain't so bad. So where we're headed is if you look right where the tip of the boat is pointed, you're going to see a far forest. And then on the left of that, you're going to see a, kind of a point. And to the right of that is another point. That's an island. Right where the nose of the boat is pointed right now, that island, we are going to the left side. We have to go across to that island and then we go along that island and then on the south side of that we gotta cross another channel and we'll be getting pretty close so it's really not so bad you've been such a good boy are we getting a special treat? just getting blasted with wind. This is crazy. It should be, if it was like it was or even this morning, it would be way crazier than this. We would just be getting blown across this lake. Which if the wind kicks up, I'll probably move closer to shore. But for now, since it's uh, fine, we're just gonna cut the shortest path possible and go straight across, right through the open.
Now this is definitely not the worst I've paddled in. I, I still I feel pretty comfortable in this. I don't feel uneasy at all. Uh, when I was out with Captain Teeny Trout, I think that was his first wilderness trip ever. The waves were pretty rough on our way home. We had to cross a spot and the waves were just coming from our sides and it was rough. I remember it was super rough. <laughs> Mr. Captain Teeny Trout had a new respect for uh, big waves <laughs> in our canoes at that, after that one. I did also. I, was, I would say I was definitely a little more uneasy that time than this one. This isn't so bad at all. We're getting like slow rollers right now, not the big rollers that'll like just flip you. Like they're right here. Like those aren't so bad. Still don't like them at my side, but I can see them coming pretty easy. They they're not just like coming out of nowhere right now. And we're weighted down really good, so that always helps. If I wasn't weighted down, this would be a lot worse. We'd be coasting with the wind and we just kind of be floating more and we just be rocking a whole lot more so it'd just be way more uneasy feeling. began this adventure. It is coming to a close. Oh no. It went 
by so fast. It always does. In just a, a week, it just slips by. Especially when I'm just catching so many fish. That might be what does it. So many fish. So little time. Well, okie dokes, folks. With less than a mile to go to the car, calm waters. I think it's about time we wrap this one up. I had a blast this week. We caught so many fish. We caught Walters. We caught Bobby's. We caught Larry's. And we caught Peter's. We even caught a little rock bass. So that, that's nice too. We didn't see any moose, but we definitely, uh, you know, had our fair share of loons and we saw some beavers. At least saw some beavers. We'll see if we got them on camera. I hope I did. But uh, yeah, we ate delicious food. Monty had a blast. He did some swimming. He's a tuckered out pup right now. But uh, we're going to get back to that car and we're going to drive ourselves to the first delicious cheesy bacon cheeseburger we can find. And we're going to feast on it. So, as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys at the next video. I just needed one more quick one for the ride home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>
Keep you for your own good, Monty.